The 12th of July 1970. In many ways more important than 1970 within the confused infrastructure of Northern Ireland's religious divisions. In this annual reconstruction of the Battle of the Boyne, the Protestant forces of William, Prince of Orange, later to become King of England, defeat the Catholic army of King James II. Today, that victory is celebrated with fervor by the Protestants of the province as living proof of their right to rule. They have been fighting the same battle for nearly 300 years. The Catholic flag is shot to ribbons, while the Union Jack, symbol of Northern Ireland's union with England, flies everywhere as Protestants prepare for the great Orange Day parades commemorating the Boyne victory. And it's more than a school holiday for the children. Indoctrinated and decked out in the symbols of the faith, they too wait to march. and the banners of the Protestant Orange Lodges wind in day-long procession through the streets of all Northern Ireland cities on Orange Day, and Catholics remain out of sight. For years, these parades were harmless enough. But in the heightened political tension of recent times, Catholics increasingly saw them as an affront, a flaunting of Orange Lodges as an organized arm of the Unionist Party government. Catholic opposition and demands for equality began to grow. 